Hello everyone, this is Juan here from Fayetteville Flight Traps and today I'm gonna show you some of the picture plans that I've been preserving and tell you a little bit more about them. Now previously, if you've been following us in Instagram or Facebook, you probably noticed we used to do a lot of uh, resin castings with uh, carnivorous plants we had a couple of cephalotus and nepenthes up for sale on our website but lately we kind of switched to a different field now we're doing a lot of bigger size pitcher plants such as more mature large size sarracenia and some larger nepenthes pictures as well this one that I'm holding is actually the first nepenthes that I actually preserve using this new method that I'm doing and in case you're wondering I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to leave fingerprints all over the glass so this is a cephalotus that I'm currently working on and it's almost done now but it's looking pretty good and it holds a lot of its original color so I'm really happy about this one too now a lot of you have been asking me about the Saracenia specifically um, most of the common questions are are these freshly cut pictures will they turn brown um, so I'm hopefully I'll be responding to those questions on this video and it will probably make more sense what these picture plans are all about and what you can expect from them now the first thing I have to point out is that the little glass that these plants are basically inside the glass can be removed the reason I have them inside a glass tube or a jar as some of you call it is to protect the uh, pitcher from dust and from the uh, outside elements such as humidity and cold and heat it's just an extra layer of protection but this glass can easily be taken out if you just pull the cork out slowly and carefully so I'm gonna take the glass out of these ones and show you guys a little bit more of a close shot of the pitcher plants. Okay, here we have one of our Saracenias that I made. This one, I believe I work on it around September of this year. So it's been about two or three months almost since uh, it was cut and preserved by me. <laughs> And it still remains with the original color and, and with the original shape, so it hasn't turned brown or discolored at all from the time I harvest this picture. And like I said, this is the glass. Uh, in case the glass gets dirty or anything, you can simply take it off and clean it. Now, coming back to the question, are these freshly cut pictures? Well, not. These, all of the ones here are either several weeks or several months old. And then, let's see if you guys can hear this. If you can hear that sound. These pictures are actually bone dry. These are not freshly cut pictures. They're actually totally dry. There is no moisture or anything like that. And they're actually pretty rigid and stiff I mean I will not try to crunch them but they are definitely more stiff than freshly cut pictures so these ones they hold their shape pretty well um, like I said it's been months in the case of this one and weeks on the case of the other ones here and none of them have turned brown or lost any of its color here we have a Saracenia Flava. This one is currently for sale on our website, which I will leave the link in the description of the video. This is one of my very few flowers that I preserve so far. Another question that is being asked very commonly about this is is the color going to last? And my answer to that is yes, color will last and should last you for several years as long as you don't expose them to sunlight 
or high humidity. If you expose these pictures to sunlight for a long time, the sun will start to discolorate them and eventually will bleach them. So keep them away from the sunlight, don't put them on a window or anywhere that gets lots of sunlight and also avoid high humidity. Remember these are leaves, these are still leaves of the plant and if you were to expose them to high humidity or water I'm sure that will cause them to deteriorate and just damage them totally. So just keep them dry, keep them away from sunlight and humidity but overall they should last you for a long long time I mean I did several treatments on these to ensure they keep their shape to ensure they keep their color and so far I haven't had any issues with them even my oldest uh, picture plants that I preserve they still keep their original color and they look the same way I did at the time that I preserved them so color will last just remember don't expose them to sunlight or humidity and maybe not expose them to extreme heat or extreme cold either just for safety reasons but other than that they should stay with you and remain the way they are for a long long time so Finally, another question that I've been getting from people is, why am I doing this? What's the point of having a preserved picture on a glass? Well, I love carnivorous plants. I love pictures. They all hold their own beauty and shapes and colors. And for me, they're very interesting to look. And for me, it's always a little bit upsetting when you have a very pretty picture on your plant and eventually like any other plant, it will turn brown and die because that's what plants do. The older pictures tend to die. So I wanted to have something that will last you for a long time. Um, having a picture plant, well not a picture plant, but a picture you can just look at and appreciate every day for as much time as you want to. I thought it would be a cool idea. Plus, some people don't have the space to grow these plants. Some people I'm not good at growing plants, so this is something good for those who want something that's essentially carefree and that is beautiful. So that's why I did them and I really enjoy them. I do these ones almost for my own pleasure. If I sell them, that's good. If not, I don't mind keeping them and looking at them. But I really love them and I think they're a pretty neat thing that I came up with. So. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please, if you have any questions about these, uh, either send me a message or write them down in the comments. I'll post a link to my online store where I have some of these for sale. And again, thank you for watching. This is Juan from Fable Flight Traps. I'll see you guys next time.